Hey everyone, Chenebris here. Welcome back to the channel. So I am on a cruise at the moment, as you see. It's pretty cool. So, uh, yep, no land in sight. Pretty cool, right? Anyway, I'm going to talk about something that I have to talk about. And I know that this should really be like a kind of Minecraft commentary or, you know, commentary where I look at a post on Twitter, you know, just something like that, right? But uh, because this is so relevant to my channel and something that is incredibly interesting to me, I have to talk about it now, so bear with me. I know this is not going to get as many views as it should, but it's, it's whatever. Just, just bear with me, everyone. But uh, as most of you guys already know, Refraction was exposed for uh, opening vape on stream. So he pretty much was streaming, and he accidentally clicked a button and opened vape to... Uh, just show everyone that he was using vape, and it was complete, completely by accident, right? And the reaction a lot of people have had is kind of like, oh, well, he was a good person, he was a good guy, he would have probably admitted anyway. And I don't know if I see that entirely. I'm not 100% sure, but there's a possibility he may have admitted if he did not, was not, did not accidentally expose it. But now he cited the reason of rank Skywars is rage inducing and everyone else cheats, so therefore I cheated. So now Hypixel is considering removing Rank Sky Wars. And I have thoughts about that, which I've already made a video on, but I think I'm gonna make an updated video when I get back about whether or not they should actually remove Rank Sky Wars and actually if there is a solution to the cheater problem. Because I've been thinking about this for a while and most of these proposed solutions, which seem to work in, in theory, won't actually work in practice because of various flaws which are associated with them. And it all really goes down to just Mojang being incompetent and not providing a client's an anti-cheat for people to, to use and for people to, you know, feel secure in, in the, um, in the people, it's secure in the fact that the people that they're fighting is, are legit because you can't actually tell at the moment because everyone's using Forge and you can inject vape into Forge and there's no way to really tell unless they're using like really blatant settings. If they're using aim assist or something, you can't tell someone's cheating, which is unfortunate. But there's a lot of people, you know, saying that, you know, he would have admitted anyway, and he said himself that it would be up to his guilty conscience to decide. And I, I don't know if, if he would have admitted. It's just interesting to think about. What do you guys think? Do you guys think that Refraction would have admitted if he was not, um, if he was not accidentally exposed? I'm not sure. But on a slightly different note, I believe that this is just the beginning. I think that there are a large number of YouTubers who are kind of like Refraction. And what I'm afraid is that, what I'm afraid of is that there's a group of YouTubers that are kind of like Refraction, but they're either bigger, smaller, some, something around that size. They're, they're like, they're pretty big YouTubers. They're bigger than me. Um, and that they're, they're all closeted. They're all closet cheaters. They, they play ranked, whatever, and they don't tell anyone about it. Because if Refraction is, is using Vape, and he's such a large YouTuber, and this is basically what I've been trying to say for the past two years, and this is it just proved in action. This is basically what I've been trying to say for the past two years proved, is that anyone is, can cheat right now because of Ghost Clans. So before Ghost Clans, it was very difficult for a, a larger YouTuber to, to cheat and get away with it because they would have to be using a blatant client, which didn't have like a lot of the features that modern Ghost, modern ghost Clans have. But nowadays, because it's ghost clients, any YouTuber could be cheating. So uh, maybe this is going to require Inspector Tenebris to come back. I'm not sure. Uh, I'll have to think about it. But um, yeah, I just I'm afraid that there's a there's more. I'm afraid that there's more, and that they're not admitting because they're afraid of the backlash. And the the main problem I have is that he did not organically admit because if he organically admitted and he just came out and said, "Oh yeah, I've been cheating." then it would have been a lot better in my in my view. I think that it would be more it would be better for the community because the community would say, Oh well, you made a mistake, you know, we can forgive you for this, but because he was exposed like just involuntarily, I feel like that's a lot worse. But I mean he's a good guy. He may have still admitted. It's just the fact that he was exposed and not and he didn't admit. It's just that's just um that's interesting to me. I, I, I don't know whether or not he would have actually admitted, but that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. I'll make videos on this when I get back because I need to talk about just cheating YouTubers in general and kind of 
how the mindset mindset comes to be because I was one of those people. I was one of the people who used to cheat on, on Minecraft. So anyway, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.